Uh... <laughs> what the heck was that? Jeez. Okay, fair warning, if you fail on anything like this and you go back, you want to keep in mind that these enemies may have respawned. I went up here and I wasn't expecting that this enemy respawned and I went through and got hit again and ended up falling and having to do this a third time, so just be mindful of that. And now, revenge. Easy. Bam! Yeah. You deserve worse. And up here we've got our extra honeycomb piece. All that for just a little bit more health. All that just to make the game less challenging. Was it worth it? Oh, it was totally worth it. Now I've got a sign right there. Let's see if I can get to it. Don't have to read this, but I want to. I want to do everything ever in this game. Skull Beach, Beach Skull. Hmm. What, do they play a game of Mad Libs on the sign? I mean, what is that? It doesn't mean anything. Okay, let's drop to this. Hmm, it's cracked. Uh, actually, I don't know if I want to do this yet, because I didn't even talk to the characters that surround this objective, so. For a particular reason that I talked about, that I mentioned earlier, so. Sorry about that, but I'll, like, off-screen there a little later. So we got a couple of doubloons down here. This water just looks hideous and disgusting. Very reminiscent of... of... Rusty Bucket Bay. I don't want to talk about that, because that level just gets so much hate, and I like it, so... I don't want to salt people's wounds too much. People need to like that level. People are always like, oh, I don't like it because of the Peller Jiggy thing, and... and, like, the water, you can't be in it all the time. And so I hate everything about that level because of two things. I understand, but... It's a fun level, and the music is always nice to listen to, so people need to shut up. So that's my Rusty Bucket Bay rant, anyway. And here, Blubber's Wave Racer Hire. And here, hello, here's an old friend, Blubber the Pirate, with no shirt. This place does not have a strict dress code. Or it might be, you know, casual, don't wear a shirt Friday. Some jobs have that. Blubber's an interesting guy. Remember him from the last game? We saved his booty. And, for those of you who are fans of burping the alphabet, you're in luck, because he speaks only in belches. You must just drink soda like an addict. I should say an addict. <laughs> Sounded like I said an addict. Anyway, he's got a final possession. Unfortunately, like many Ma's and Pa's, he's not doing so well, and he's just got to bite the dust here and move on to bigger and better things. Chase other dreams. So we're going to throw him one doubloon. And we get a mystery prize here with a rare logo on it. It's got to be good if it has their name on it, right? Careful, man. With all that burping, I think the last thing you need to be doing is drinking, buddy. Private. What went on in here? Hmm. Fortunately, we'll never know. But first, just because I want to build up suspense, I'm going to go through and comb this area before I open that. And I actually don't have my volume up, but I do happen to know that a Jinjo slash Minjo is just hollering our name for yelling help, I guess. Over and over again. How did a Jinjo get in here? This Jinjo has a story. It worked for Blubber. They were partners, but they decided they had too many disagreements and they needed to go their separate ways. And... Good thing you're not a Minjo. I mean, how, how much of a big slap in the face would that be? Furthermore, the idea of Blubber just letting a Minjo hang out in here. So yeah, it's another Jinjo. I believe that's our first of this level. What could be inside this mystery... Yeah, it's running juice. 
So let's go out and use them. Was it worth one doubloon? Probably not, but what can we do with it? Well, we can be Jesus, first of all. That's nice. I remember showing that off in Glitter Gulch Mine. And we have yet another Jinjo here. That's another red, four of six. A family with three kids, I guess. Four kids. Which is a TV place that made Pokemon. Yeah, how about them? Good folks. Good folks. Okay, so we got more doubloons. We're getting pretty close to our goal of about 20, 25. 25? What? I partially spoiled it. How dare I? I'm kidding. We'll see what happens. Look at that nice neon sign just blinking forever. Advertising a business that no longer exists. Anyway, those pigs over there have been standing there long enough, and I had reasons for not talking to them, so what in the world was that reason? Well, first and foremost, we're going to be splitting up here. I do have a couple things to do with Kazooie on her own, like for instance here. We can leap all the way to heaven and practically pet God in the face with how much that leaps us into the air. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think it ever, like, explains that the shock jump pads will do that with Kazooie, so... I feel... I think you're, like, just gonna... You'll end up just discovering that on your own, not expecting it. That's crazy. But what I want to do is, throughout the game, I want to try to talk to different characters with either Banjo alone or Kazooie alone, because I'm actually curious what the dialogue is like. I actually do not know if they get their own dialogue or not at the top of my head, so... We're gonna meet this guy. Yeah, he says Little Bird, so... Looks fine to me. I don't know if Banjo says that or not, but... So, we've got yet another person to help. This pig wants to go to market. But yeah, his pool is toxic and disgusting, yeah. First world problems, my friend. Oh boy, look at you. Three arms. You are a walking, talking tripod. Nice underwear, too. So, keep these guys in mind, and particularly keep them in mind, because... Boy, oh boy, we are not going to be able to fully help these guys for a long, long time. Especially long for me, considering how often I update, but... I'm not even gonna waste video time with that, so... So, we're gonna stick with Kazooie for a little while. We've got a couple of naked things to do. The turtle view. A view of turtles. Ooh, how nice. Doubloons, more doubloons. And... Uh, yeah, there's a turtle over there. Well, I guess it wasn't false advertising. Yeah, this is a nice little area. Those bars are a little prison-like, but the view makes up for it. Oh, and we have a new move. And I do happen to know that this is a Kazooie-only move, so... Don't have to deal with that... You know, ditch that fat bear nonsense. So no more will Kazooie be able to only defend herself with sarcasm and wisecracks. She now is going to be able to actually fight on her own. Fight her own battles. So yeah, we learned the Wing Whack, and also he healed us, thank you. So all we gotta do is run around and press B. Whee! I mean, it's an attack, it, it looks to me just like a fun dance, but... I, mean, I don't know, I guess... I mean... I, for one, attack and ruin the lives of many people when I dance, so... It makes sense. Whee! Yeah, it's just fun to do. Unfortunately, I don't really find myself using that too much, at least at the top of my head, but... But, your time was short-lived, Kazooie. Let's go back. You know, can't, can't be watching your naked body run around like that all the time. That's just... That's just silly. Plus, Banjo's lazy, so... And he gets lonely just standing there waiting on you, so... Got a couple more doubloons in here. I'm just gonna go collect those. And actually not gonna bother Mumbo quite yet, so he can... Go back to sitting on his chair. But wait a minute... That riddle on the sign said Beach Skull Skull Beach. 
Oh. So now, I wonder what that riddle meant. Um, anyway, let's get out of here. Don't need you quite yet. We got some bl uh, balloons. Yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> doubloons, sorry. So, now that we finally got enough doubloons, this jiggy is ours. Unless there's a catch. You have to answer a riddle or something. Nope. Still 20 doubloons, so... Ah, <laughs> oh, that little thing he does is hilarious. <laughs> nice earring. Yep, and we just throw one doubloon, because obviously watching Banjo throw 25 doubloons for 20 would just be silly. But... Oh yeah, it's just funny right here, watch. <laughs> I love that. Ah! Just hits him right in the poor little belly. Ow, careful, man. That glass could have shattered all over my eyeballs. And yours. No, I don't care about you. Anyway. There we go. Our first Jiggy, I think. I think. I don't know. I get lost in recording these, and before I know it, I don't remember anything. So that was fun, but if you're a big fan of that store, guess what? We're going to go right back in. Because, look at that. He has the ability to repair glass in a matter of three seconds. After getting that Jiggy, you can come back in, and there is a Cheeto page for sale. And now we're going to babble on about how we're interested in that. Yeah, it's not worthless. That came from Cheeto's body. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we could have, ha you know, haggled a little bit. Eh, nah, it's worth about two doubloons instead. So, it only costs five doubloons, so... Gonna go ahead and buy that. I feel like I'm playing Animal Crossing here, just going in and buying stuff and leaving. Going in stores and coming out. So we'll say I or Naw. That's right, they gave us a yes or no option in this world to fit the pirate's spirit. And this happens again. Did he learn from his mistake the first time? No, he didn't. Poor guy, it probably hits him every time he does a transaction. Dude, the glass might... I mean, come on, dude, that's almost like a Final Destination death. There we go, our first Jiggy, of, or Cheeto of this world. Cheeto Page of this world. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, it was that hard to say that. <laughs> anyway. So, we took care of all that, and if you'll remember, if you think back, I actually have a couple more doubloons. You can end up getting a couple more than you need. They don't give you, like, the exact amount you have to do to purchase everything, so... We're going to have a couple of doubloons here that are just going to be untouched in our pockets forever. It's similar to the two Jiggies at the end of Banjo-Kazooie, where... At the end of the game, when you 100% it, you just have those two Jiggies that are just there forever. Okay, so we've seen this a million times, so I'm going to go ahead and just skip all this. Alright, now that we got our favorite Shaman... He does something really cool in this level, and very helpful. But, he's actually very short-lived. Come down here. Right in front of the lagoon is the mumbo pad. And he's still not very optimistic about his work. Sunlight? Wow. What can mumbo not do? So with the power of Mr. Golden Sun, uh, bring the sunlight down here. Ooh, look at that. Sending the beams of sun down to the water. What does that do? Shine big light on water. It now has plenty oxygen. Baron Bird not need to hold breath. That is right. We can go through underwater all we want in this level, and it does not require breathing at all. So we don't have to worry about drowning or anything like that. Very handy in this level. It makes the underwater parts of it actually fun. So yeah, let's go switch. So we're back here, and got maybe like a last thing or two to do, and then that's going to about do it for this recording session for me. So just to demonstrate, if you come into the water here, go underwater, look at that. We can stay under here for eternity. It's like Donkey Kong. It's awesome. So yeah, that makes the underwater parts of this world actually nice and relaxing and peaceful and fun to do. 
and I'm looking forward to it, actually. It's not very often you get an underwater part of a game that's just an actual real pleasure to do. And this little part that I blew up earlier, eh, just make a little note of that, I'm not going to quite go in there yet. But now, that little area over there, earlier in this recording session, I walked over there and entered it, but then I realized I hadn't got the objective yet, so... I'm going to go ahead and off-screen into that area again, so I'll see you there in a second. Or I can just leap into it. <laughs> I forgot. You can just go into it like that. I don't know why I was thinking I had to go like all on that ledge again or something, but... We have the waste disposal plant here. It's green and yucky. Ugh. I think at this point Banjo's just used to pretty much walking in anything, so... Go ahead and ram our bodies against the switch. Toxic waste disposal. Ooh. So, how are we going to help the pigs? To get rid of all that disgusting poop that's going into the water. So now the water's nice and clean, and he drops his float. He's so excited. I'm not a teddy bear. You insult me like that. Don't see me calling you a piggy bank. Piggy banks are pretty cool, so that wouldn't be very insulting. Okay, and we can move around here, and... Hey! I have already gotten the only white Jinjo, my friend. Who do you think you're fooling? I mean, you're kind of pink-looking in my recording here, but... You know what? Ice torture. Yeah. You're not fooling me, man. At least be a color that has not been completed yet. Oh, and there's a Jiggy. Can't get that. Can't quite break glass. I don't know if Jam Jars is going to teach us that, but... Ooh. This game has so many exciting things coming up. So much to do, I can... I can uh, just... Uh, so much excitement. Can't hold it in. Can't contain myself. As you can see, the water is all nice and clear and... You, know, you wouldn't mind maybe drinking out of it. Okay, probably not. So everything's fine, right? Right? Hmm. Or, come on, don't peck the poor guy. Don't talk to him. Who looks much cleaner now? Still got the temperature problem. Yeah. So now the water is, like, too hot or something. Oh. The water's cleaner, but there's still the temperature. And you're freaking out. Yeah. Oh, Kazooie. You're not so perfect yourself. Nah, you're perfect in every way. We wouldn't change Kazooie at all, would we? So I think that's going to about do it. I think we've pretty much covered everything on the land part of the of Jolly Roger Lagoon that I can think of. So, next time, we're going to be going into the depths. And I actually look forward to it. Because we can breathe. I'm so excited I, I can't breathe. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. See you later, alligators.